We're headed around the base of the mountain now, looking for the Cape Buffalo we'd seen from up above at the camp. We're going to connect up with the rest of our group here in the other vehicle in a moment. Unfortunately, the buffalo were a little shy. They kind of withdrew from the water. Um, you won't be able to really see them in this video because they're way across this mostly dry stream bed. There was water down in the stream bed though, um, difficult to see, but enough for them to come down. The banks were very steep, so there were only a couple of places where they could actually come down and drink. Oh, how do they get down to the water? Oh, okay. You can't see it, but there's a little slide area over here. They're okay. very shy. They're very shy. Okay. So this is why they saw us. They Lava stage. Now, after a while, when these trees are very old, then you have a moth, a horn moth, who start eating the horn, the outside horn. Wow. Because that's the only insect which can digest keratin. Uh -huh. So it is going to destroy the whole thing. This is the insect which makes this year and it's it's like a small worm which is white in color and that's the one which is eating that and making that eventually it's going to pupate and then turn into a moth it will become a moth <laughs> This is the worm. This one. Oh, yeah. That. That yep, thing. I see yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's wiggly neither. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. That's the one which is destroying keratin. Eventually, all that will be gone. They destroy it. The hyena is there. This year, it's, it's not going to digest it. It will just come out like this. You doing any construction? Yeah, doing this construction. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I'm going to put back that small worm so, so that it does its work. It was sand. If you look carefully in the brush you'll see some kudu wandering around. Very difficult to see but they are there.
see males are grayish in color, whereas females are um, sort of like brown. Mm -hmm. They've got uh, that white um, line on the mane mm -hmm. along its back. How old do you think that male is? That should be about uh, six years. Boy, he has set all yeah, down he's still there. growing. You see the, the yeah. horns are now slightly yeah, coming <laughs> back inside. Mm -hmm. They're still like that a little bit. They're coming slowly. But when they come in like that, that means it's fully grown. Mm. Yeah, it's around seven years. Oh, that was good eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we're entering Cinema Telecamp. It's a little camping area. They have cabins there that you can rent, and then there's a park facility or park, not a headquarters, but some of the officials are there to rent out the cabins and so on. This is where we had our evening tea, our sundowner. Overlooked a great okay big plain where we could right? uh, observe all kinds of animals. Okay. Cinema Telecamp. It's open though. Oh, staff entry. I do have. If you do go to look dance, five or six bucks. Okay, cool. Right, uh, we are bringing these and looking down these. Uh, let's go and see what we can see down there. I better take the binder. Take your and your cameras. It's going to be cold very soon, so your jackets. Well, we're not going far, right? No, we're just going right No, there. no, just there. Oh, I'll walk yeah, back the then if I need my jacket. We have our drinks here as well. Yeah, then I'll put my jacket on for that. What's that? Oh, we just saw a couple of big kudu. Yeah, that's right. just down the road. Yeah. yeah. There's a big herd over there. And there's three more right over there. Okay. These three here are much closer. Now the evening happy hour is over and we're headed home in the dark. <laughs>